Hi everyone, it's Melanie from Living Luxuriously for Less and I am so excited to be sharing with you a nautical themed baby shower. Now I realize that you guys like to see the before and after of the room. So here is the before, just a typical small hotel room, kind of like an intimate ballroom or meeting space. And here is the after. I absolutely love the way that the colors and you know came together, the decor. I was really pleased with this intimate baby shower. Okay, so now we'll take a look at some of the individual table decor. Here you see the sailboats that I picked up from Hobby Lobby. They were $10. Um, they were actually 20 with 50% off. And then um, here are the little chinette plates and chargers and the little napkins that I kind of folded like the top of the sailboat that I thought added a little bit of elegance and class to the table. Here's the second centerpiece that I used. Um, it's just kind of a pale, like an Easter pale. And I did a taller, grassier type centerpiece with the yellow uh, flowers at the top. And I had a little nautical anchor at the bottom to tie in that nautical theme. Now here are the centerpieces that I did for the center table. I also carried that same sailboat and a centerpiece here the little vases that you see were from Hobby Lobby they are on sale right now for a dollar and the letter A I picked up some while ago um, at Michael's in a grab bag now you guys notice the Dollar Tree plates that I use. Yes, those plates are from the Dollar Tree. Um, these are the gray plates that are in Dollar Tree right now. They also come in a turquoise color, but I customized them by adding this anchor and I thought it made it look absolutely fabulous. Here is another centerpiece, um, very similar to the one I just showed you. The only difference is I added a kind of a fishbowl and I put the little rubby rubber duckies in it from the Dollar Tree as well. I thought that was a nice touch to the baby shower and made it feel baby-ish. Um, here is another centerpiece, um, a nautical centerpiece that I also added there. And then here is the guest table and I just took a bear and a box. The box was actually like a khaki gray and blue, but I painted the khaki parts yellow. I added in the bear, um, a paper fan, an anchor, and I just thought it looked super, super cute. Um, there on the side of the guest table again here is another table it kind of matches the one I showed you previously but just wanted to give you guys a different look the lighting is much better in this part of the room so here's another overall view of the room I again I love the way that it's turned out it was somewhat casual but very baby feeling very nautical feeling um, and so here is the candy table now you guys this is the part I was most excited about her godfather built these little um, I don't know what you want to call them but they're like the wooden structures that lead like to the pier I thought that was super cute and here are all the sweet treats you guys know Rachel from hot mama bakery does um, all of my treats so I absolutely love of them she customized the uh, little baby on the top of the cake the cake was phenomenal you guys like I think this was probably one of my favorite cakes ever and you see the little baby he has on his little sailor outfit and sailor hat like she handmade all of that and I just thought it was so amazing um, oh my gosh it was amazing I absolutely loved it over here we have some cake pops and again the lighting oh my gosh the lighting in this room was insane um, so any slight move would change the lighting um, here are the cookies and cupcakes I thought they were beautiful um, again she just does an amazing job on all of those things so we'll take another look over here. The sign I got over to your left, I got that from Hobby Lobby as well. It was on clearance for 80% off and it was definitely perfect for this event. So here is an, another overall look. 
So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and enjoyed me sharing with you how it looked before as well as how it looked after and the small details that I added in on each table and each centerpiece. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave them down in the comments below. I know a lot of you guys have been requesting a backdrop video and it is coming soon, very soon, but it will be the affordable version of the backdrops that you see here. So as always, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, it's Melanie with Living Luxuriously for Less. Cheers.